It's like we're uh, everyone is in the room. Yep. To be honest. So uh, I'd like to call the meeting back to order. Um, <laughs> and before we get started on uh, the rest of business this day, I'd like to uh, welcome Chancellor Esther's Lorenzo Esther's of the Indianapolis campus up here to uh, give us a brief presentation and welcome Lorenzo. Thank you very much for Thank you very much. Good afternoon and welcome to our campus on behalf of the 28,000 students that we serve annually and our more than 700 employees. I'd like to welcome you to what we call Ivy Indy, uh, where we are Ivy Indy proud. Um, it is my pleasure to actually present something to Commissioner Lowry on behalf of our students. We have an alumnus who graduated with an Associate of Fine Arts degree from Ivy Tech in the spring of 22. Her name is Julia Catalan. She's currently employed uh, by both Pottery by You and Painting with a Twist. And she has, she specializes in glass fusing, pottery painting, and wood sign making. And uh, today I'm going to present Commissioner to come up to the podium. Yep, you're sure to bring us all very nice, very nice plaque that she made. This was made through the use of Wow. Wood burning tools, map for a great state, and the Iowa Tech logo. And we got a sweatshirt, and I hope it fits. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that ought to fit. That's awesome. That's pretty good. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll do this. I'll hold this right. to you. No, I'll wear this 25th. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three. Hey, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right. I guess we'll just take it. Thank you. Have a great meeting. Well, oh, he doesn't do it right exactly. <laughs> First, there are probably questions, right? I'll be happy to say. Yeah, any, any questions for Chancellor Esters? We, we had a wonderful lunch, uh, a beautiful view of the city. Um, this is always a, a, a fun place to come and visit and uh, appreciate all the hospitality. All right, and we'd love to have you back anytime. We're doing something in the spring we call jazz at courses, where we actually have jazz artists for dinner that's prepared by culinary arts students. So I'd welcome you to come back at any time. I and actually have a quick Sure. If it's all right. I um, was really intrigued with your upper floor and I I think I was told that's all operated by students up there it including is including in the kitchen yes and is it open um, at any time for the night it is um it's limited availability but you can make reservations online actually so we have a website and I'll be actually I'll send that to Commissioner Lowry, so he can share it with the board. That's like one of the best. How you make reservations? Because at night, I mean, that would be a really. And it's the best view of the city, in my opinion. Yes. Yeah. And so, are you recommending the food? Highly recommend. <laughs> <laughs> Probably had a little too much of it lately. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. much. You don't get to sit up yet, Lorenzo. Um, I, I have to take this chance to see very kindly. So it's the Um I'm sure with you. I, he and I have a friend in common, a good friend who I, I think is a matchmaker of friends. And I know some of you know Dave Shane. And Dave Shane, I don't know, said to both of us some years ago, basically, you two should get to know each other, you should be friends. And, uh, and all I would say is, Dave and I might have a little to do with recruiting him to this role. I, doubt it. <laughs> yeah. I actually saw him the other day. He said, You talked to Chris Lee? <laughs> Twist his arm and so forth. But he's, he is on fire, and frankly, he's not only what this campus needs, he's what Indianapolis needs. And so, Lorenzo, thanks. Thank it, you it, very much. Especially meaningful coming from you. All right. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, we are going to. Uh, Let's get back to something we we're going to do before lunch. Uh, we have a uh, academic degree program, one of them for expedited action. 
uh, it's listed in your agenda book beginning on page 27. So I need a motion and a second for that. So moved. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, okay. All those opposed? All right. Motion passes. Thank you. Okay. We're now going to move on to our budget and productivity committee report. So I'm going to ask committee chair Chris Lamont to provide a committee report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I would say that you probably noticed there's no capital for the commission action today. Um, our next uh, uh, budget policy committee meeting is going to be January 5th. So we're going to get a uh, great start of the year. Um, we'll be reviewing capital projects, reviewing and discussing outcomes, uh, performance based uh, funding, and reviewing the uh, government's recommendations for the budget. So it'll be a great meeting and um, obviously we have EPC members, but that's also open to any commission member that they'd like to sit in and listen to support. I feel very comfortable doing that. Um, and um, I will make just an editorial comment. I had an opportunity yesterday with other, uh, some other commission members that were able to come down to the budget uh, committee hearing yesterday. And um, it was interesting. Um, uh, there were some members of the budget committee, although there were some, there were some that were missing. Um, and um, but uh, some pretty good discussion. Um, I thought uh, Commissioner Lowry did a terrific job in presenting the yeah. set both for up in the bullpen um, doing a presentation, and uh, I thought it went uh, well. And then we also had the opportunity to listen to uh, some of our uh, higher uh, education partners uh, present as well and so uh, it was a it was a good showing it's kind of encouraging um chris you made a comment earlier about uh, the importance of this commission and, and this commission probably uh, needing to get engaged and be aware um and develop relationships with the legislature because it's very very important i do think that this next session of the general assembly is going to be Really, I've said one for the ages. I think it is going to be because there's uh, quite a bit of money uh, out there and uh, some a, a lot of people with um, designs on that. And so there's no, it's not guaranteed what the higher education community is going to come away with. We're really going to have to work closely together and be very, very unified. In my years of running the Indiana Chamber of Commerce, I learned one thing painfully, and that is if you give uh, the legislature any reason to doubt a question or see division, um, what happens is nothing gets done. And so we've got to make sure that that does not happen in this section of the General Assembly. So um, we'll be working with our partners very closely um, and um, probably calling on all of you at different times for, for uh, help and assistance, maybe with some of the other steps. Any questions for Chris or any comments? Okay, I'll we'll join Seth if you can. Seth, if you have anything to add to that, please, please jump in. I'll keep it sweet, a uh, short sweet. Thank you very much. I just want to send my sincere appreciation for the members that were able to attend yesterday. I think it's extremely important for you to have that kind of first person experience uh, in these processes. We'll send similar invitations to the Ways and Means and Appropriation Committee meetings as they come forward, and just be expecting over the next several months, regular interval updates uh, for myself and, and the commissioner and other uh, team members on progress being made and hurdles uh, that need to be overcome as well as we move forward. But thank you. Thanks, Seth. Thanks, Chris. Uh, Pepper, you're up the Student Success Committee report. Thank you. All right, so the Student Success Committee met. Uh, we met on November 29th. We, our presentations were a decade of decline, the college going rates in central Indiana. Um, it was a fabulous and data driven presentation um, that was focused exclusively on central Indiana, but it gave us a lot of 
insight and information and uh, can be replicated, but it's a lot of work for the rest of the state, but that's something that's possible. That was from Aaron Olson from IUPUI and our own Sean Tierney. And we had a presentation on the Indiana Department of Education in the PPS dashboard overview. And that was from Jason Callahan. I appreciate other members of the commission joining that committee member or committee meeting. And uh, we'll defer to Charlie if there's other things that you'd like to highlight from that meeting. But our meetings always have a very robust agenda thanks to staff and a lot of good information that can be carried over to these meetings also. I'll just add we're working on the dates for the next year, so we'll have that for the next meeting. Thanks. Sure. Thanks, Robert. Anyone have any questions for the Student Success Committee? <laughs> it was an excellent meeting. Um, okay. Uh, we have, we're almost at the end of our meeting, everyone. You want to drag this out a little bit or you want to go home? Or <laughs> you, can, you can find um, uh, information items starting on page 21 of your agenda book. Uh, now I'll ask if there's any old business, any new business, or any other comments. Here, Dennis. Thanks, it's just following up on um, the report outs. I just think about um, does that sound too random? Is there an opportunity for us? To, is there any value in having the outgoing president, President Daniels, come and provide some information, some insight, some guidance, something? Forty departments that may be a benefit to the state, to this commission going forward. It just seems like as his time kicks down, given the transformative direction that guidance is given, not just for due, but to the state, is, is, is there some part of benefit if we think through it that he may be able to all for us to be used going forward for the commission consideration? I think it's an excellent idea. Um, I was at a conference in Florida several years ago with three uh, retired presidents, and that was the most open and honestly raw discussions we've had about higher ed that I've ever been part of in my life. And um, that I think with the you know the not the the, diplo the diplomacy and pressures and politics of being in that position, that's gone. We tend to hear some. Very, very uh, pointed and, and you know good and bad uh, things that I think that uh, someone like a uh, former governor and former soon to be former president of the university might be able to provide us. I mean, be super helpful. Um, so I think that's a wonderful idea. That's what we can work on, Chris. Yeah. Dennis, I not only think that's a great idea. Bill Hannon and I would share with you that I think Bill has started that discussion. Uh, have just recently met with President Daniels. We actually would like to see something akin to a white paper come out of uh, President Daniels and insights and convening with us, I think would be splendid. Um, try to pick a little bit of out of that brain, um, but uh, yeah. And, and perhaps what I would suggest, Bill's like putting you on the spot right now, you and I get together and we'll work with President Daniels to do exactly as, as you suggested, I think, just yeah, it reflected some receptivity for sure there, and we also talked about including some of the key members that he's used to, you know, finance and other areas like Chris Rule and so forth. Um, so yeah, I think he mentioned the term sacred sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once or twice, but yeah. So that means he's not going to give up. So yeah. 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 I don't know if there is one or not, but you know, I'll share with you what I what I can. And then, of course, there's a lot to learn there. So yes, thank you. And the good news is he's staying at Purdue. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So he'll be available Thank for a long time. I think it's a great idea that, yeah, you see if we could get him to come in. And to think of something about the time, and there's something about a crest where he could be here, but in the position or right after he's left the position, that where it may not resonate the same time a year from now or two years ago, depending upon what he does, but it just seems like the time 
as well. And I'm glad you are on the top of the side. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. You will. Uh, anyone other, any other members have comments? Wrap up. I just have a real quick ask, request. If you don't have a name badge from the commission, will you please let me know so we can get that first? What if you do, but it's like somewhere at your home that you don't know where you put it? <laughs> Them, you're supposed to do as many at one time. So if that is also the case, just let me know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Get, get a hold of Charlie if you need one. Um, uh, Commissioner Lauer, uh, Lowry has one thing to say here. Yeah, just very quickly, go get information to you if you have not seen it already. Um, I think it's germane to a lot of the earlier morning discussion we had. Um, an education on an education. Those words may have been repeated more times than you could imagine in the past few months. And we'll be hosting our first on December 14th next week at Value Convening, Education Value Convening. And one of the panels, uh, people who will agree to come together and be part of this discussion, it'll be a first uh, in that type of light part of the folks on that Pentagon where I referenced to the Dan. Peterson, Clark uh, Vidian Green, uh, Marlene Dotson, and um, yes, like the and Ron, and Ron, President Ron Rashawn, yes, uh, and I will be doing that and somebody will be facilitating, but uh, it, it's an initial conversation, it's an initial convening, um, but uh, we are listening, we are committed, and thank you. Commissioner. And then I, I will remind you, I, I know I haven't done it, but I think Josh is going to send out, resend the, uh, the ethics. Uh, yep. Yeah, I think so it's okay. 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 So Remember to, to hit that because I, I have not even opened the link yet, so I need to do it. But just a reminder on that. And then um, January 12th, we'll be in Plainfield at, uh, at Plainfield. I mean, at Made at Plainfield, uh, hosted by Vincennes, Ivy Tech, Indiana State. So look forward to seeing everyone there. Be safe, uh, happy holidays, and we are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.